What's up, California? Why does it make sense to move to Texas from California? Because it does. The question is, why does it make sense to leave the beauty and natural coastlines and mountains and climate and all the beautiful things about California, which are certainly beautiful? Why does it make sense to leave that and move to Texas? Well, there are many reasons and chances are very good. We will not cover them all in this video. So check out the rest of the channel. There's lots of videos on this topic. We're real estate brokers and agents here in the Dallas Fort Worth area of Texas. And we help lots of Californians make a move either here to our local market in DFW or to other parts of Texas. And what they tell us is a, let, let's just get it out early. There's the political debate, right? So regardless of what you feel or think, the fact is many conservatives have, are, are leaving California for Texas in, in search of or in hopes of a slightly more conservative lifestyle. Now, there, there's no two people alike in their political leanings, but that is one of the main drivers of why people are moving from California to Texas. They certainly don't all share that political belief, but many, many people do. Now, I, I want to be very clear. If you check the comment section of our other YouTube videos, many, many Texans are upset with me for making videos like this. They do not want me to encourage you to move here if you're from California. It's been my experience that the vast majority, the vast majority of the Californians that have moved to Texas that we've had the privilege of helping have been absolutely wonderful people who want a great life for themselves or their family or are looking for great employment opportunities, who appreciate great recreational opp opportunities, and, and all of those things exist here in Texas. Now, I speak a little bit more about the Dallas-Fort Worth areas because that's where I live and work. I grew up in Houston. I know uh, at least most of the major markets in the state very, very well because we coach and consult with agents in those markets around the state. But Texas has a generally low tax environment. Californians like to pick on Texas because of our property taxes, uh, but net net, the total tax burden of living in Texas will almost always be notably less than living in California with the state and local taxes, as well as the state income tax. Now, property taxes themselves are lower there, but when you factor all that in, many, many, many corporations, Families, individuals have made the move because of a lower tax burden. And mathematically, that has fleshed out to work out really, really uh, in their favor. The other thing we're seeing more and more people ask about, again, this is not my opinion, this is just what people are telling us, is they're looking for great educational opportunities for themselves or their children. Uh, there are some great public school systems really across the state of Texas, as well as some really incredible private school options that I am repeatedly told, we are repeatedly told, are simply more cost effective than they are in most communities in Texas. Now for the obvious one, the cost of housing. The cost of housing in Texas is rising, in some ways is slowly catching up with markets like California, but many, 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 if not nearly all, of our California buyers are just stunned by the affordability of big, beautiful homes on large lots and really all types of housing in the Texas market. Now, there are some markets in Texas that are not as relatively affordable, not as affordable compared to California as others, but virtually all markets in Texas are more affordable than the major markets in California. Austin has become a much higher price market than it ever was, but still more affordable than California. Ask your buddy Elon Musk. Um, Dallas is more has a higher cost of residential real estate than ever before, with an average household price of of high three hundreds to low four hundred thousands, depending on where you look. Fort Worth is still in the high three hundred thousand dollar area. Houston is in the mid three hundred thousand dollar area. Austin is in the low to mid $400,000 area. Markets like Waco, you can still very easily find homes in the 300s, low to mid 200s sometimes. Um, cities that you, Californians may be slightly less familiar with, like Tyler um, and some mid-sized cities like that are still very affordable relative. Now, massive growing cities like El Paso and San Antonio, that seem to get slightly less attention on the national stage, 
Uh, San Antonio specifically is a big growing market that is still very, very cost effective relative to the rest of the state, as well as relative to California. And then El Paso being a border town that is one of the only major cities in Texas that's actually in the mountain time zone is, you know, one hour of time zone shift closer to California, something that not a massive influx of Californians, but a lot of consideration there. Now, healthcare here, uh, we've got you know, all, all the major cities in, in Texas have great access to great health care. Uh, we already talked a little about education, uh, transportation. Texas is more centrally located to the entire, you know, North American continent, certainly the United States. And so, you know, relative to recreation and travel, it's easier to get places. Now, a lot of Californians do sort of mourn the loss of the natural coastline beauty, but Texas has some really beautiful areas. You know, West Texas has its own unique type of kind of plains, um, cowboy mentality. Uh, you've got North, far North Texas up in the Panhandle where you've got, you know, kind of the foothills of some mountains. You've got North Texas here in DFW uh, that's known for some beautiful lakes and access to uh, the Trinity River coming through, Oklahoma to the north, Arkansas to the northeast, Louisiana to the east. And then you've got the Gulf Coast to the south. Houston being your biggest city near the coast. And then you've got coastal islands and communities like Galveston, Corpus Christi, South Padre Island, and many others where there's great fishing, sport fishing. Um, and you do have some coastal sports. You know, I, I was at the beach last weekend in Galveston and saw a guy kite surfing and doing some really incredible things. We've got great inland fishing, hunting, uh, you've got mountain biking and marathon. You've got all the outdoor recreational sports that exist nearly year round here in Texas. We've certainly got some summer heat and North Texas has some real winters, but generally speaking, Californians are moving here for all of those reasons and many, many more. If there, if you've got some curiosities and questions about why people have been making that move in such big numbers and why you may make the move, drop those in the comments below. We answer every single question. We respond to every comment and you can certainly contact us. Our, our contact information is below. If you're thinking about making a move anywhere in Texas, especially here in the North Texas area, we can help you here. We can get you connected with trusted real estate agents and other vendors and folks that you might be seeking information from all over the great state of Texas and honestly, all over the US. But we are here in Texas, we love it. And a big chunk of the state of Texas loves it. I mean, state of California loves it also and has made that move. You may be considering it and I would encourage you to do so. Texas is still a wonderful place to live. All of our California clients that move here, uh, let us know how grateful they are that they did, how much happier their family is. Obviously, it's not right for everybody. Some folks aren't gonna sync up with the culture or the politics uh, or the healthcare or the sports or the climate or whatever it is. But if you're considering that, we'd love to be a resource for you. Comment below, check out our other videos. I'll talk to you on the next one.